So today I'm going to show you about lighting your smoker and I realized that I hadn't done this before and I would said in a previous post that a lot of times my smoker will run out of fuel and that's kind of okay if you're just working with a small hive but today I'm working with this uh, four super hive. It's got three brood boxes and one super and today I'm actually rotating the hive so that this black box that's on the bottom is above the yellows and the reason for doing that um, I'll explain in the video, but the main thing is you need to have your smoker fueled and not running out on you. It's kind of a, a time-consuming process what I'm doing today. So I've always just started with putting a little bit of grass into the bottom. Dried leaves will work well. You can use wood chips. And the secret that I have found a lot, and in the hive, I'm quite a ways away from the house. Today it's already 77 degrees and it's getting into the 90s, so I'm trying to do this early. I always bring two lighters with me. Um, that way, I mean, it's not likely that they're both going to fail. So you want to light this. I always tip it sideways because these flames don't like to shoot down. And then, as soon as you get a little bit of uh, fire going in there, I've been using the baling twine from our um, hay bales, and ours is an untreated. You don't want to use anything that's treated. The orange plastic ones won't work very well, but this natural jute twine um, is really good. You could actually buy the jute twine if you wanted, but um, these smoker fuels can be expensive. They do last uh, well from what I've heard. Now the grass I stuck in there is from lawn clippings. And mine's a little bit green, but it'll give me nice smoke. So once you get a little flame going, you just stoke the bellows a little bit, and that's going to spread that fire in there. You don't want to add more fuel too soon because you'll extinguish your fire. So now you're ready to go. And that'll kind of douse your flame a bit so that now you have just smoke coming. So that is how you light your smoker to work your beehive. Thanks for watching everybody.